Boribe, the night monster from Madagascar. There once lived on the island of Madagascar humans and creatures of all sorts, some on land, on trees, in the sea, on the mountains, and high in the sky. Many were never seen by humans and roamed in places which were neither sea nor trees. They had terrifying appearances, were very huge and powerful compared to humans. One was born to seed from a red flower in the sacred forest and was known to grow big in no time, so big that the animals in the forest had to cover it so that light could not get to it, so it stopped growing. When it reached an age that it could be freed, the animals took it as their protector, as it could fight anything and anyone. They called him Boribe. His vela became legendary, and many other creatures came to seek his strength to support them. It had the eyes of the colours of the night, red eyes like glowing embers, a wild mane of black iridescent hair, powerful arms, sensitive pointed ears which could hear anything, and it never spoke. Anyone who crosses its way was sure to get killed, so it was feared among humans and animals. Boribe had one weakness. It liked to fight. It would sneak into human habitation, watching people who were out in the night drinking, and would snare them by appearing as a young man. When much drink has been drunk, and men are no longer able to stand, it lured them into the forest and challenged them to fight. In no time, it would gobble and kill them. One day, a man by the name of Rakanoa started from his house, picking some friends from his neighbourhood, and made their way to a local tavern. Arriving there, the owner refused to sell them any drink. No more today, it's a moonless night, and Boribe will be on the lookout to grab any one of you who gets home drunk. I don't want anyone more dead because of you. Go home. Come on, give us only one bottle. We will share it and we won't get drunk. We promise. We've had a long and hard week. We need some drinks. Borobe, you say? Borobe? Who has seen it? Exactly. No one has seen it. Because no one made it alive after seeing it. Now stop being silly and cocky and go back home. Okay, I take the challenge to defeat this Borobe. Then will you stop this nonsense of no drinks on a moonless night? If you say so. The tavern owner served them some drinks and they all waited for Rakanoa to take up his challenge. Now, where to find this creature? Everyone pondered in their semi-drunk state. Night had fallen. The sky was full of stars, but no moon was visible. The men had to walk through the forest to reach their homes. Upon reaching there, they shivered, hearing all the strange voices, but their drunk state made their movements feel brave. A branch cracked behind them. They all stopped and turned to look around. And there it was. A tall, strong man, as black as the night, with red glowing eyes staring at them. They were all frightened, except Rakanoa. He walked a few steps towards the creature and hailed. Are you Borobe? But speech was not known to Borobe. It advanced menacingly one step forward, his muscular body seeming to grow bigger. Petrified, Rakanoa's friends slowly retreated into the night. All around, hundreds of eyes in all colours and sizes were glowing. The animals were watching the forthcoming imbalance duel to take place. They all knew in advance that the human was silly to challenge the mighty Boribe. The latter was known for liking to induce a fight. It was his favourite game. Rakanoa was also a shrewd man. Besides, from not fearing anything and anyone but his wife, who could shower him with sticks when angry. He was the perfect man who could look at the monster's eyes without flinching. I challenge you to fight with me, only if you tell me your name. 
But Boribe could not speak. But it hurt the man clearly and loved the challenge. But it stopped short as it never liked to lose. How could it not be able to tell his stupid and lame human his name? Boribe for the first time felt the shiver of vulnerability down his own spine. It didn't feel good. His eyes dimmed a bit in their glow. In the meantime, Rakanoa was thinking how to win over this monster towering over his frail body. He had told everybody that he didn't believe that Boribe even existed. And now, there it was, in full flesh, in front of him, ready to attack. He needed to stay alive to be able to tell all the humans that Boribe doesn't exist. Boribe thumped his chest in anger. Rakanoa said again, Okay, I will not fight you if you don't tell me your name. Boribe incited fights but never attacked his victims without reason. Fuming in rage and frustration, the monster turned away and disappeared. Rakanoa, not believing his luck, rushed to his wife and embraced her tightly, feeling saved. What's the matter? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Not a ghost, but a monster. Borobe itself. That's not possible. How come you're still alive? Because I asked my opponent his name. I wanted to know who I was fighting and who might even kill me. You are a silly man. Tell me what that monster looked like. Describing the monster, Rakanua started to believe that he had just a miraculous escape. He became sober and started trembling. His wife brought him some hot coffee and sat down. Rakanua, you know about Boribe, don't you? Uh, yes, I do, he muttered. His wife took his hand in hers and said, Today, Zanahari, our lord, has saved you. The next day, the whole village knew about the story. Rakanoa's wife could not let go of such an incredible and unbelievable escape. The story reached the owner of the bar. He kept his promise and never stopped serving drinks on moonless nights. As for Boribe, he was never seen again. It is believed that the monster knew his first defeat by a human. Muscular might is not everything. Wit, bravery and intelligence are to be reckoned with in such dire situations. Mm -hmm.